Hi, I'm Matt Morgan, Application Engineer with Go Engineer. Today I'd like to show you a cool new feature in SOLIDWORKS 2012 called Feature Freeze. Let's begin by opening this remote control file. This file can contains some fairly advanced surfacing and ha contains quite a few features and can take a little while to rebuild. Um, as I as I switch configurations, you'll see that uh, has to rebuild quite a few features. It looks like about 69 features it has to rebuild, and uh, that can take time away. And this this can be valuable time that you can use, uh, you know, watching Go Engineer videos on YouTube, right? So as this rebuilds, it's going to update some of the features and uh, update the graphics. And it takes a little while to do all this. So now it's going to update some of the graphics. And you'll see this one gets a little taller. I just raised the top surface a few millimeters. But you can see it takes a pretty long time. And uh, it's not fun to have to wait for rebuilding of complex surfacing models like this. If you take a look at the feature statistics, it takes around 25 seconds for the rebuild process, let alone the graphical update. Um, if I switch over to the feature manager, you'll know this freeze bar. This can be turned on in your general options inside uh, your tools options. You can drag it around, or you can see here that I can right click on it, and right click on a feature and, and freeze it to that point. Uh, it's going to rebuild the uh, other configurations to make sure that everything's the has been rebuilt successfully before it freezes it. Uh, that way you can quickly access your configuration. So right at this point it's going to go through and rebuild uh, the other configuration that I have, make sure it's all up to date, and then it's going to freeze it. And that means that it will not rebuild those features anymore above that rebuild line, saving valuable time. So now that that uh, has been rebuilt, you can look at the feature statistics and uh, the frozen time is now zero seconds because I've frozen everything. Okay, so that saves us a lot of time. If I open this keypad, which was inserted into our file as a uh, derived part, and change one of the features in it, we'll change this radius here, make that a little bigger. If we go back over to our uh, part, it does show that that feature is out of date and needs a rebuild. You can simply right click on the freeze line and tell it to update the frozen objects, and it will allow you to rebuild that frozen feature and update the geometry as you select when is a good time to do that. But you can see now changing between configurations because it's frozen is very quick and very easy. So as you can see from Feature Freeze, this is uh, uh, something that uh, people have requested for quite a while now, the ability to uh, save the time of, the re of rebuilding and being able to, to freeze and just say, Everything above here, I don't care if you rebuild anymore. I know that that's all set, and I, and I like the design from this point back. So I don't want to have to wait for that rebuild time anymore as I uh, make changes, make design changes, and so forth. So the feature freeze can save us valuable time uh, uh, turning off the rebuild for anything above that freeze line. So thanks for watching.